Now, Meta's fact checkers uh, are claiming that an iconic image now of Trump after his near assassination is an altered photo. You all remember this image where he got up, put his fist up, said fight. Uh, absolutely outrageous, but not surprising. Now we've got a Facebook representative who has admitted this was a mistake and apologised, but the so-called fact checks on Meta, that's both Facebook and Instagram, are highly partisan and always Daniel in the one direction. Spot on. Uh, they're not apologising because they got it wrong. They're apologising because they got caught out. And that's mm. always the way. Uh, you know, we've talked about this before with the fake fact checkers. The analysis we did, the voice to parliament fact checking was 90% of fact checking was against the no against the no side, despite the fact that it was the yes side yeah. that was perpetrating misinformation. I mean, it was Albanese who said, oh, this is just a modest, a, a small modest request. No, you're changing the constitution along racial lines. So, um, look, this is the concern with misinformation laws as well. As we know, the way that they would be policed by people like eSafety Commissioner is through these fact-checking organisations, which, as you say, are blatantly political and compromised and cannot be trusted. Oh, absolutely. And if it wasn't for X and Elon Musk buying X, we wouldn't be having an apology and withdrawal of this particular fact check because they wouldn't be embarrassed because that would also exist across X like it did in 2020 where they buried that New York Post story on Hunter Biden's laptop. They worked in unison across the board to suppress that story. Daniel Wild, thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you.